about to spill some truth in this video. Buckle up. So hi guys, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, this is gonna be a fun one because I wanted to do more of like a story time kind of video. I do a ton of like advice and tips and helpful information um, and like rave videos and vlogs on my channel. Um, but obviously EDC Las Vegas is coming up and we're super hype about it. I hope you guys got your tickets. But every single year I always see the same types of comments. Like when people are getting hyped for EDC week and like they start planning their weekend, they're always talking about like all the events they're gonna go to and things like that or asking like what it's like and I was like I just need to get really real like I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is like exactly how your weekend is probably gonna go um, I've done EDC Las Vegas four times this year will be my fifth year and I just think it'd be really funny to just be completely honest and tell you like how it's gonna go because I just like always crack up reading people's like people have really high expectations which they should but like all your plans go out the window and something always happens when you're there so I'm just gonna sort of give you like this is a breakdown of the days and like what you see weekend is really like yeah if you're interested please keep watching before we get started uh, don't forget you can follow me on social media I'll put my stuff up here uh, and if you like this please give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on any videos guys we want, we want you to come back and stay. So anyway, I'm gonna take you through EDC weekend and what the experience is really like. So no amount of planning can prepare you. Like we are here to help each other and you can, you can get so prepared when the lineup comes out, you can plan your sets and all that stuff. Uh, but things will always change and you just gotta roll with it. Let's do the breakdown. If you're like me, I mean some people stay much longer. I usually stay the Thursday through the following Tuesday. That is like my window of time there. Thursday, like usually like I wake up I didn't sleep the night before because I'm so excited to like get on the plane in the morning and get to Vegas. Vegas grin on my face, like me and my little like get on the plane and we're on our way and we're just so hyped. Then you get there and you're like, oh my God, it's finally EDC weekend. I'm pumped as hell. You just want to like go crazy and everything, but you're like, no, I got to get myself settled. So normally we'll like go straight to the hotel and then we'll go take a walk. We'll get our groceries. We'll get our alcohol, like everything. We're going to stock up for the weekend because we're prepared. And uh, we always will go to like our favorite restaurant. But you're in Vegas. There's so many good places you can eat. So we'll always go to like Gordon Ramsay Burger or uh, at Paris they have this place called Beer Park. So like we'll go to our favorite place with this huge meal. Oh, but wait, it doesn't happen perfectly. Last year I got the worst cold and sore throat the day before I left for Las Vegas. So naturally that Thursday wasn't perfect because I couldn't taste food, I couldn't smell anything. So that was not a part of the plan. Oh, I'm sick. I got a sore throat now. Now I'm in Las Vegas. I'm still like, I don't care. I'm in Vegas. I'm gonna push through this. And then I'm gonna go to the Red Up meetup, which was awesome, by the way. Uh, meet a couple people, get to meet you guys. It was awesome, got to hang out. Can't smell anything, can't really talk because my voice is gone. But again, that was not a part of the plan, but we're gonna just keep going. And then, Typically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out your first night and you're like, I'm gonna go ham, I'm gonna go crazy. Yeah, then you're gonna get too drunk. You're gonna be absolutely hammered. Uh, have an awesome time. Probably go see one of your favorite artists, which naturally, probably gonna wait online for like 45 minutes to get into a nightclub. Probably gonna spend a ridiculous amount of money on alcohol. And then you're gonna go home and you're just gonna pass out. Or like me last year, I was too sick to go out. Literally stayed in that Thursday night because I couldn't go out because I felt so sick. That could also happen. On Friday, you're gonna wake up. You're gonna be hungover as shit because you drank so much the night before. Hopefully you remember the night. But today is EDC day and nothing else matters. It doesn't matter how sick you are, how tired you are, how hungover you are, it is EDC day. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go to a pool party because it's Vegas and you have to go to a pool party. So you head straight to a pool party, you chug your drinks, pregame a little bit, you go to your favorite pool. I love Dre's, I always go to Dre's. You're gonna start you know, drinking, having a good time, blah, blah, blah. Oh wait, it's 90 something degrees out. So you're also gonna get dehydrated as fuck and you're probably gonna forget to drink water, which is not a good idea. We're gonna have the time of your life, there's gonna be awesome music. Like the energy at the pool party is unreal. Like everyone is there to have an amazing time. Uh, you're gonna dance, you're gonna hang out, you're gonna meet some people who are there that weekend, you can drink some or you know, get really, really hot and you're gonna realize it's like four o'clock and you need to get your ass ready for EDC Las Vegas. So you're gonna run back to your hotel, probably too drunk, uh, scramble to get your stuff together. So the makeup and the glitter and all that that you had planned on doing, probably not gonna go according to plan. Then you're gonna put your bodysuit on backwards true story, uh, because you're too drunk. Then you're gonna go wait on a shuttle line for 45 minutes to two hours, but hopefully way better. Last year was not 
it was not that bad. Or you're gonna get your Uber and you're gonna get all excited again. You're like, okay, now it's time. Now we're actually going to the festival. Then you're gonna pull up to EDC and everything else. The bathrooms, body suits, the drinking all day in the heat. None of it matters. Because when you walk through those doors, everything leaves your body and you're just like, in heaven for the next three days. In awe of everything, the first night, everything's amazing. Stages are new, things are moved around. Like, it's just so overwhelming. Oh so, yeah, every sort of stress in the world just goes away. Uh, you can go get some food, go get some drinks. You're gonna sort of like feel out the grounds. You're gonna take walks around, get to know the lay of the land a little bit. Then you're gonna see the fireworks. You're gonna see the fireworks the first time and it is gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. It's unlike any fireworks show you've ever seen in your life. Ridiculous. You're gonna be like, I have two more nights of this. This is insane. Usually you're gonna leave maybe like a little bit earlier. It depends. Like typically on Friday nights, we always leave a little bit earlier. You're gonna probably sit and wait on, again, another shuttle line or another Uber and be like, oh my God, I just wanna go home and go to sleep. And you're gonna be like, okay, I party way too much today. I'm dead. My body is shutting down. And you're gonna pass out. Saturday, you're gonna wake up. Um, it's gonna be probably 2.30 to 3 p.m. because you literally slept all day. So all those pool parties you thought you were going to on Saturday, those aren't gonna happen. That never happens, people. You're never gonna make the pool party. You're gonna rest because your body needs to rest. And before you know it, your body is sore. You're gonna pop a Tylenol and guess what? You're gonna get dressed. You're gonna go get something to eat and you're gonna do it all over again. You're gonna start getting ready immediately because you gotta get to the shuttles again. So before you know it, you're heading to the festival game again and it's the same thing all over. Saturday is the night. Saturday is the night. It's the night you're always the most hyped for. All your favorite artists, your lineup is the most stacked. Like you have people back to back to back. You'll find the time to do everything. You're gonna be scrambling and like running around to a million different sets but Saturday is the best. You cannot stop smiling. You probably make some new friends, meet some people, uh, you know, explore a little bit more, like really get, you know, get the feeling like this home. And then you're gonna start to get fatigued. It's gonna start to creep up on you at the end of the night. You're gonna be like, mm, I'm getting a little bit more tired, getting a little bit more tired. So then you're gonna head home probably at the end of the festival and again, sit in the Uber line or sit in the shuttle line and just like wonder why you didn't camp because this is the fucking worst, yeah. Then you're gonna get home, you're probably gonna eat a muffin or some sort of leftover food you haven't passed the fuck out again. And then Sunday, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna wake up at 2.33 p.m. again and sleep the entire day away, because again, you just can't make it to a pool party. We usually go lay out by a pool, pass out, take a little nap, have a little drink, eat a little snack. Oh, and guess what? Now it's time to go to the festival again. So it just like is a cycle. So we'll eat a huge meal, get ready for the festival again. Going into this tonight being like, this is the last night. I have to leave it all here. This is it. I gotta trade all my candy. I gotta bring in the best outfit, meet more people, get to the stages that I haven't been to tonight. Like tonight, I have to do everything that I want to do that I haven't done yet. You're gonna have the absolute time of your life. It's gonna be the best. The fireworks are gonna be amazing. Uh, some of the best sets are on Sunday. Yeah, and then the sadness starts to creep up on you when it gets to like 4 a.m. because you're like, holy shit, why did this weekend go so fast and everything's ending and I don't just don't understand. That's pretty much what's gonna happen to you. That happened to me last year. Uh, also, your body just starts shutting down. Shutting down, your legs are cramping, your back hurts, you're tired, you're dehydrated. Finally, you give in to the fatigue and you call it a night and you look back at the festival one more time. You just say goodbye. I'll see you next year. And you go sit in the Uber line or the shuttle line for another 45 minutes and wonder why you didn't camp again. And on Monday, you begin your recovery phase. You sleep in, you go to the pool. You're like, today I just need to relax. I need to just like reflect on everything that happened. Hang out. And guess what? I'm not gonna make a pool party because I'm gonna be sleeping and the entire day away again. You gamble, you're gonna walk around, maybe like we always go get one nice, huge, big meal, someplace nice and fancy, special, talk about the whole weekend, maybe meet up with some friends, uh, get some dessert to, you know, eat your feelings away. And then you're gonna get tired and we go drink and we in the room and we just wanna spend time with each other. So we'll go hang out, walk around, take some pictures, go back to the hotel, relax, and finally call it a night. And then on Tuesday, Tuesday you say your goodbyes and you take the saddest flight of your life home. It's the worst. Oh, and before that, you eat your feelings in the airport because you're also probably hungover and Popeye sounds really good. And then you think about the festival every single day until the next year, just a vicious cycle. So yeah, that is pretty much what EDC weekend is really like. It's a lot of sleeping. It's a lot of partying. Uh, you don't eat that much, to be honest with you. You drink a lot. You really drink a lot of water though. You do need to drink a lot of water. It's hot, it's really hot. Uh, and you're just fatigued, but guess what? 
literally none of that matters because you're in the best place in the entire world. Nothing else. Yeah, nothing else matters when you're there. You have the time of your life. You're gonna see the best sets you're ever gonna see. You're gonna meet the coolest people ever and it's all gonna be worth it. And you're gonna wanna do it again next year and then here you are five years later. So that's it guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Uh, I hope that wasn't too negative at all. I really meant for this to be like a fun, positive video, but I just crack up every single year when people are like, oh, I'm going to pool parties Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Like, no, you're not. And if you are, like this is my own opinion and my story. Like if you make it to them, good for you. There's no way in hell that I can do that. You seriously need that recovery time. So if you do that, good for you. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. You guys can follow me on social media, all my, uh, Links to everything is down below as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.